Hello everyone, welcome to Guidance for Graduates. So, Guidance for Graduates is an initiative by Technical Research of Denmark and uh, mainly few researchers from Technical Research of Denmark. The Guidance for Graduates main objective is to help students to pursue higher education and to progress in their career. So today uh, we have um, three successful uh, researchers here towards uh, the corner. She is Tufei Gokman and uh, here uh, we have Jennifer Rinker and uh, Momita Sarkar. Okay. Tufei, yeah. as a woman, <laughs> did you face any discrimination <laughs> in your uh, entire uh, professional life from starting yeah. from Turkey to Denmark? So or even when you go to conferences, did you face any discrimination? Yeah. So then, if, if so, then how did you um, overcome that? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Well, um, maybe discrimination is a little bit of a harsh word, but I think that there's a different kind of approach in general. Yeah. I, I did see that. Um, mm -hmm. in, in Turkey, uh, during masters, it was a lot milder because um, there were more women around. Mm -hmm. and. Um, also, it was still uh, a part of being more like a student because when I started my PhD, it felt a bit more like work. Um, for, for, for masters, it was in a campus environment where, where it's already everything it was a lot more relaxed and you know um, there were many, many women around. Yeah. Not necessarily in the department I was in, but at least during the campus we had um, also softer sciences yeah. as people like to call. So we, we had um, natural sciences, we had also social sciences in the campus, so people were... Um, much uh, much more used to uh, working with women, communicating with them, even professionally. That was that was easier, I think. Yeah. But still, um, I always felt like it. I, I had to try sometimes twice to to actually convince people because yeah. I, I was a little bit looked looked down on to. Also because I, I was fairly younger um, yeah. Yeah. compared to to um, you know people that I studied with. But but still, it was a little bit. Oh, don't, don't, don't you know these things? You know, so <laughs> I, I, I get that, still yeah, get yeah, that um, yeah. occasionally. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's getting better. I would like to think that it is getting, uh, better. getting better yeah. now. Yeah. We, we see, as, as you see, we, we see more and more women around, yeah. so it's, it's, it feels better. But yeah. um, sometimes it, it gets rougher, sometimes it gets uh, better in terms of uh, profile here in DT with energy when it comes to women. Yeah. But I, I heard for, for the last year, for our PhD in 2015, it was 20% of the whole uh, PhD that's, student. That's very nice, yeah. <laughs> that is really <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there is definitely that's an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. But um, what to do about it, how to encourage more women in, into here, um, I'm not really sure, but I think, I hope this helps uh, as an inspiration. Yeah. Right. yeah. Of there is one. <laughs> this, so this attempt is to try to inspire you. We're so, not the only three. There's more than just us. Yeah, so I can. <laughs> so what, why three means only we can accommodate three and uh, <laughs> I'm one. So in this camera. So that's all. that is only the reason. Otherwise, I could have. There are many behind this door. So. Exactly. They're waiting at the door. Yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're waiting. So. so that's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Jenny. So. What are the challenges uh, challenges that a woman face? A similar question, but what are the challenges that a woman face uh, to pursue higher education uh, in the United States or in general? Anywhere? Mm. So according to your knowledge. So, at least in, in my experience, I never to my recollection have mm. had any blatant sexism. I've never had anyone say to my face, yeah. you can't do this because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the most that I have ever experienced was maybe like a few jokes mm -hmm. that were not directed to me but more of I think just kind of like an offhand joking thing and you learn quickly that most of the time it's not made out of uh, spite it mm -hmm. was just like they thought it was a funny joke and they told it mm -hmm. and so I mm -hmm. kind of learned to Reali realize that and kind of acknowledge it and then not let it bother me and that was that was a step that I kind of had to take personally um, to kind of realize like that's not actually what they think they're just saying that because it's a common it's a common joke it's yeah, a common yeah. kind of comedy yeah. style so that's like one thing to kind of well, I had to kind of learn about that um, I think I think a challenge um, of it, it's not an issue that I have personally, but it's an issue that I know a lot of people have, is how to balance the, the family with uh, 
like a job, like a PhD, for example. I'm sure Momita can talk about this yeah, more than yeah. more than I can because I'm not married. <laughs> um, but I think that's at least we've heard that's a common reason for not pursuing higher education. Yeah. At least in Denmark, is we have a fair amount of women in the wind energy masters, but then do not pursue a PhD, PhD. or yeah. higher. Yeah. And so some of that reason is kind of the uncertainty. It's like, well, if I get a PhD, that's three years, but then what if I want to start my family, and then yeah. what? And Or I could go and get a job right now, yeah. and I know yeah. I'll have that. <laughs> yeah. They may get, they are getting jobs easily, maybe. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, so so I think that um, that's one, uh, I guess, challenge that we have to overcome is kind of maybe making that a little more clear that no it's it's not actually a transient position it's you know you get this this PhD and then you can pursue a, a even higher level in industry if yeah. you like um, so that's one one uh, challenge I suppose and then uh, another one that I think is um, a lot of times I think subconsciously we tend to choose tracks where we see people that are more like us and yeah. so when when you think of like mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, I think the stereotype is still male, yeah. and so and and we still have we still have issues with with like percentages, for example. So yes, we you know we we're having more women that are present here, but it's still not it's nowhere near fifty yeah. fifty. For example, at least in my section, yeah. I'm the only woman in my section. Uh, mechanical engineer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, there's twenty odd people in my section, and I'm the only in female. In where you are talking about in at the wind energy? No, in loads and controls. Loads and controls. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so wind and DT, DTU wind yeah, energy yeah, so, is yeah, yeah, separated yeah, yeah, into in sections. Loads and control in at DTU. Yeah. yeah, and then within so then within that section, I'm the only female. So for me, it's not a problem because I've gotten used to it over the years of yeah. just being like, okay, yeah, there's guys everywhere, <laughs> whatever, no <laughs> big, you know, I can do math too. <laughs> Oh, it's fine, but That's I think advantage too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're uh, only one commander. <laughs> I have to admit, it really helps if you want to be heard. I yeah. think you always get that little bit of like, oh, oh, the girl is speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I have something important to say about the high pot. Something, something yeah. like that. But um, I think that the challenge in that is um, maybe making more, maybe we forming more of a community within us to encourage women to come into higher education, into engineering, and to create kind of a welcoming place where if they have issues, they know how to get them resolved, or they can, you know, bounce ideas off someone if they're like, look, this happened, what did I, and I handled it this way, could I have handled it better, what am I doing wrong, like, yeah. having that sort of community, I think that's a challenge that currently, at least in our campus here, at Reisen, yeah. doesn't really exist. It does to a certain extent, but not something that's really easy to find. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that that would be an interesting uh, development for the future. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Denny. So coming to India, so now um, in India, uh, as far as I know, things are really better now. Uh, many women, stu girl students, they are, they are studying, they are going out of uh, high school and they are going to universities and getting bachelor degrees. Uh, engineering, science, medicine, arts, everything, and they are working also. So they are uh, competing with the men uh, for uh, many jobs, and of course, in few companies, uh, more women employees are there in India. <laughs> so, Momita, so then I, I, I have a question for you. So, coming to things are going better, but yeah. not as expected. So, the question to you is in India or anywhere uh, in the world, why most of the women? stop their education at bachelor's level or mostly at, at master's level. Why they don't go for PhD and a researcher or postdoc researcher scientist like you? Why? I can see a few. <laughs> <laughs> so why, what, what is the reason do you think in India? So you can because as an Indian okay. woman, you know, because you are you also married, still you are the researcher. So <laughs> so then how it is possible for you, why why it is not for them? No, I yeah. think it is possible for everyone. You yeah. just have to... Uh, maybe it depends on a particular person's priorities. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not very sure of this answer, why <laughs> others don't. But I can tell you why I did it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to do my PhD. Yeah. That was my motivation. Yeah. I wanted to do... Uh, I wanted to do the most possible that I can achieve. I yeah. want to achieve that. So even if I'm married, that's not going to stop me. Yeah. <laughs> that's my motivation of yeah. getting into this PhD. Yeah. But 
then again, I know even here a lot of women do. Uh, yeah, even in my masters, I think I had around twenty percent of women mm -hmm. in electrical engineering, and so. But yeah, when I see PhDs, yeah. it's more men <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> getting into more PhD. Men, but uh, but it's not that they stop their career mm. after masters. They, they, they go for yeah. yeah, they go for industry. They yeah. somehow prefer indus uh, work yeah, they in work, industry. Yeah, they work. They go for work and yeah, more than yeah. continuing in research education, field research or field. education field. Maybe the opportunities for. Um, PhDs are less in India, maybe that may be one reason. Yeah. And maybe Maybe. the marriage is another reason, we need to accept that. So but I know maybe, a lot of yeah. women who are married and after married, married even yeah. get after having kids, they did their PhDs. Not necessarily... Listen, listen this <laughs> one. Listen. So this is very important. So many women in India or anywhere, they are getting married after having kids, they are doing PhDs. Yes. So Not necessarily in engineering, yeah. but in other fields, they are yeah, doing, doing it. I, I, I know yeah. my yeah. cousin sisters, yeah. they have PhDs and they both have kids yeah. and they're married and after that they did their PhDs and now they are researchers. Yeah. So, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it Even I, I did PhD after having a kid because only because of my wife only, otherwise she is she supporting. Yeah. Supporting. Yeah. So in the same way, men in India has to support their wives. Yes. <laughs> so your family support, yeah, family is, support uh, is needed uh, very because important. you need both <laughs> mental support yeah. as well as support in managing your household. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you have that, then you can do it. Yeah, yeah. So it my wife, I know, I, I'm problem. sure she will also watch this. <laughs> 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 I think that, that brings up an interesting uh, question though, is if we are seeing so many men that are pursuing PhDs, yeah. then I think it's curious to me, so why do they want PhDs, and then why do women not want PhDs yeah. in the same way? Yeah. So that's that's an interesting question that I'm going to have to ponder <laughs> later. <laughs> no, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. But let me challenge you with a question then, because you said, <laughs> although you have a kid, um, you, you continue your, your PhD, you, yeah. you, um, and you complete about to complete it actually, mm -hmm. and, and your wife is supporting you in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Would you do the same if, if the roles were the opposite? She had the PhD position and she decided to go for that. Would you be the one staying at home and take, looking after the kid? Why not? Why not? If because if if uh, if my wife, for example, earning that is sufficient to family, yes. so then then I can take a career break or I can do some other some other work to support yes. that. So in, even uh, even my wife also wanted to do PhD, uh, at least to master's like um, uh, like Divya wanted, uh, like uh, Momita. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because of my uh, wonder, <laughs> because of my stays, external stays at yeah. three different places. You had to travel a lot. Yeah, place. travel a lot so that it was not possible. Okay. So, but still, uh, for your question, so not only, it's, I know that you are not aimed at me, but in general, yeah, 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 exactly. for men. Exactly. So I think uh, men also should support it. Yes. If, if financially it's not a problem to the family, yes. so I would say that. So if one, if at least one person is earning, then other person can support. It's not necessary that if a wife is mm. wants to have a PhD or wants to work as a researcher, it's not necessary for the husband to stay back at home and take care of kids, yeah. because like in Denmark, you have a lot of options. You can both be working, both be having your own careers, and mm -hmm. still yeah. you can have your um, family, you can raise your kids, kids well, yeah. because here there is a support. very very fine uh, work-life balance, I would work say. Work-life balance of family support, yes. kids support. And also you there. have a lot yeah. of uh, support from uh, government, yeah. as well as a lot of opportunities you can utilize yeah. uh, so that you don't have to uh, leave your kids leave alone at home. Yeah. You can have Unless until options. they are one, less than one year or yeah. six months. Yeah. Maybe, so yeah. 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 And in that case, you will have the maternal leave. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. That, so. In that market, it's also very extended. Yeah. So, so the answer is uh, to face to so come to Denmark. <laughs> 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 so come to Denmark. <laughs> Even uh, uh, women or men can work or do whatever yeah. they want. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> not only Denmark, the Scandinavian countries and a mm -hmm. few European countries. Yeah, too. but I think yeah. that should be yeah. the attitude. <laughs> Both should have their own careers yeah. and not sacrifice <laughs> one for yeah. the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's not know, sacrificing, but then yeah, it's yeah. wantonly taking a break. Or, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think you can. If required, it has to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have to. <laughs> yeah. Then the question to you is, mm -hmm. 
what is your message to young students, even including men and uh, women, or boy or girl? What is your message to young students aspiring for higher education? I or think, or, or, yeah, so um, I think anyone, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, yeah. Yeah. race, whatever, <laughs> humans, humans um, yeah. perhaps even aliens, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, if you want to go for a, a, a higher education for a research position, I think you should do it. I feel like this is kind of a, a gimme question in yeah. the sense that it's a very clear answer to me. Yeah. Um, there, there are, I don't want to say no downsides, because of course there's downsides to pretty much everything in the world, but um, I can't envision any reason that you would not uh, enjoy such a path or, or proceed with uh, success if you choose that. And so I think for that reason, then, um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I can't think of anything very yeah. clever to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So maybe Tufek can add some, some more. Yeah. No, for, for sure. It, it yeah. can look uh, like a long way, but um, if, you, if you're sure that, that you, you want to do at least a little bit of it, maybe along the way you will get even more motivated. Yeah. Um, for me, for example, before starting the PhD, I wasn't really sure if I would be able to see the end of it. And now I look back, I don't even remember how these three years passed. It was not blink of an eye. So once you're actually into it, it, it sort of follows itself and you, you'll find your way. And, and here in DTU Wind Energy, what I really, really like about this department is that you will never feel helpless. So yeah. there is at least one, five, maybe ten uh, people that you can ask one particular question that will yeah. give you very satisfactory answers. So. In, in that sense, it's a very, very nice um, place to do your research and, you know, extend your horizons, learn a lot and improve yourself. Achieve yeah. the best version of yourself and I think it's really important. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, adding to that, I will also, I have some message to you. So, young students don't, uh, don't worry about jobs at bachelor level itself. So, if you are studying your bachelor level, plan your career or education or professional career during your second or second or third year itself. Don't wait until final year and uh, worry about jobs. So if you are preparing your CV, so think about your CV in second year itself. That means thinking about CV means what I should do in summer holidays. Can I do, do I need to go for an internship or do I need to go for attend a conference or do some uh, small project. So think about that and then if you are working like that you will definitely uh, you will get a good master position or PhD position later. So that, that is my, my opinion. So yeah. uh, Momita, you want to add something? Yeah, CVs are important, I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. But whatever you do uh, mm -hmm. during your bachelor's, during your master's, mm -hmm. uh, everything can add value to your CV. Yeah. It's not like uh, you did something and yeah. you didn't like it, yeah. so you just don't put it in CV. But if you put it in CV, you'll see yeah. that somewhere it will give you some kind of, uh, it will open a new path for you. Yeah. So I think whatever you do, you yeah. should put it in CV. Put it in the CV. So yes. that means you need to update your CV every three yes. months. Yes. <laughs> every three months. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not to myself. <laughs> some competitions that you go in, put everything in the CV. Thank you. For That's what I do. Thank you for your message. Even I am not doing that. <laughs> so, I will update my CV in three months. Yeah. Thank you. This is a new point, new take home point for every one of us. But if I don't get fired, I don't need to update my CV. <laughs> this is not what you should do. <laughs> But then, if you wait that long, you can forget what you did. For sure, yeah, that's for sure. You should always update your CV. Keep your CV updated. It's incredibly true. So, dear students, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that the experience from this women researcher sitting here will definitely help you. So, watch this video again and again. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask us. Uh, so you know that uh, we are guidance for graduates initiated by researchers of Technical University of Denmark. So we have our presence in Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, you, can, you, you can always contact us. So thank you very much once again, and uh, have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>